uh, Unit 9. So if you can please look at Unit 9. Please look at Unit 9, questions 22 and 23. Unit 9, questions 22 and 23. Okay, so um, hopefully uh, you took a look at this question already and you noticed this question is really just um, plug and chug. You're not going to get a lot of plug and chug questions on the real exam, but uh, sometimes they happen and it's a bit of a gift. And plug and chug means you just plug in the numbers and you, um, you do some mathematical manipulation and you get an answer. So, and which means that you can actually do that without understanding what's going on. <laughs> Um, that's what uh, plug and chug usually means. So first we'll just uh, do the plug and chug and then we'll um, talk about some of the, the meaning of this. So first of all, um, we have, we're given that the plate is positioned 30 centimeters from the lens. That means the plate is the object and it's 30 centimeters from, from the lens. And uh, we know that the focal length is 20 centimeters. So then, um, let me just get this the time. Okay, so then we have uh, one divided by 20 centimeters, which is given in the passage. It's given in the second sentence or first sentence. And uh, that's going to be equal to 1 over 30, which is given in the question. And then um, that's plus 1 over the image. So now I'm going to take the 1 over 30 and bring it over to the left side. So minus 1 over 30 on both sides. Okay, And so we get um, 1 over 20 minus 1 over 30. And now I want a common denominator. So um, just multiply uh, top and um, bottom, you know, 60 would be the common denominator. So uh, I would have 3 divided by 60 um, minus 2 over 60, and that is equal to 1 over 60, which is equal to 1 over the image. Now, you see there's no calculation really necessary at this point. You see that 1 divided by 60 is 1 over image. That means the image is 60. The image has to be 60. So, and it's centimeters. Now, I, for, I hope that one of the discomforts you had while I was doing that was that you said, oh, centimeters, but I thought we have to use SI units for the GAMSAT, and that's true. The GAMSAT is very focused on SI units, and you have to be very familiar with them. And the SI unit for distance is not centimeters, it's not kilometers, it's meters. And so, uh, technically, um, you know, you would want to work in meters, but you would not do it on the exam because you would look at the answers. The answers are all in centimeters. The, the numbers you're given are all in centimeters. There's no other types of units being used, so it's very safe to continue because this is a, a ratio of, uh, of centimeters. So that's why uh, that's used. So the image is 60. So, th so um, what that means, the object distance being 30 is that we can put a plate, um, we can put a screen somewhere, I guess, around here. Okay, so, and this is where we would see the image. Okay, so the, so this distance here would be the image distance. So that's the image distance, and I put below the object distance between uh, the object and uh, the lens, and that's the image distance, and that's uh, what we just calculated. Okay, so now let's uh, look at the magnification. So question 23, the plate is positioned 30 centimeters from the lens, which is the case the dimensions of the rectangular image formed by the screen will be. So this is asking, uh, what is the magnification? Is the image going to be smaller? Is it going to be bigger? What is the magnification? 
And to determine the magnification, again, this is just plug and chug. We use the equation that were provided uh, that the uh, magnification, okay, if you look at the equation, the magnification is the uh, distance. Uh, they put two things in a row. One is h over h, the other is v over u. The meaning of v over u is the distance from lens to the image divided by u, which is the distance from lens to the object. So the magnification, and you'll see, you know, I wrote it um, as uh, i divided by o in the physics equation list page. So i over o, it's actually uh, it's actually negative i over o. That's why they, that's the real equation. That's why uh, for this particular problem they put absolute value v over u because they wanted you to ignore the negative sign. But I'm going to discuss that negative sign in a moment because it's very important and it comes up in other problems. So anyway, i over o, we're going to focus on the absolute value part. And the image distance we already calculated as 60 and the object distance is 30. So the magnification is 2. So a couple of things to say about this. One is, notice that in order to get 23 correct, you have to get 22 correct. So the two, number, the two questions are related. And that does happen on the real exam. But sometimes you have to get one of them correct in order to get the next one. The next thing is that we got a magnification of 2. So what that means is that if you are, um, uh, if whatever object that you have, if it's one meter, if it's two meters, if it's, it's uh, five feet tall, whatever, because the magnification is two, it's going to be twice as long um, uh, will be the image. So that's what the magnification means. If the magnification was a half, it would mean, if the magnification is less than one, it would mean that the image is going to be smaller than the object. If the magnification is greater than one, it means it's going to be that many times greater than the object. So now we have a magnification of 2, which means it's twice uh, the dimensions of the object. Now the object's dimensions were given in the first uh, line as 2 by 3 centimeters. So it's going to be twice that, which means it's going to be 4 by 6 centimeters. So that's 23, answer is C. 22, the answer is D. So I'm just going to go just a little bit uh, uh, further on this issue because it's not just 2. The answer is negative 2, okay? Because uh, in this particular problem, we're not dealing with uh, that issue because we, we're only looking at the absolute value, only looking at magnification. But often on the exam, they'll ask you, is the image, um, is it inverted? or is it erect? And that means, is it upside down or is it straight? Now, for this, I'm going to have to make sure my, uh, my lens is a little bigger. <laughs> okay, so I'm just drawing myself a bigger lens. Original. Oh, that looks good. It's a nice thin lens. <laughs> so that's a convex lens, and convex lenses are converging lenses by definition because uh, as opposed to a, a concave lens, which is a diverging lens. And so light rays hitting this lens, so a light ray coming from the object hitting this lens will converge. And when it gets to the uh, other side, the ray will come down here onto the screen. So I didn't draw the screen long enough, but it would come down down there onto the screen. And this is where so another ray can be drawn through the lens also onto the screen. So I'm um, more or less like that. The uh, I didn't draw it perfectly, I cannot. But um, this second ray should be going through the center of the lens and then it will come down to the screen. Both these two rays will meet at the same point and will represent the top of the, um, the um, object. So the top of the object will be represented here as the image. I just ran out of space. 
uh, only problem. So what we can say about the image is this. It's a real image, not virtual. It's a real image because light rays actually pass through the image point. Two, the image is going to be inverted. Inverted means upside down. So whatever it looked like here, it's upside down here. It also means, not just upside down, it also means left, right, inverted. Because there was a question on that uh, um, on one of the set materials. So it's upside down and left, right, inverted. Third thing uh, we can say um, about, so it's inverted, it's real, and there is a third thing that I want to say. <laughs> Let me think. Oh, yeah, it's inverted, it's real, and it's um, magnified, it's enlarged. Those are the three uh, areas where you can be tested. Is it enlarged or diminished? Is it real or is it virtual? And um, and the third thing, which I'm forgetting again. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so those are the, uh, that's how you can solve uh, this problem. And this one was pretty straightforward. And if you haven't done your optics review, you should look at the video uh, on optics. Or um, if you have the gold standard book, then it's in sections 11.3, 4, and 5.